Okay, in this video, we want to focus on identifying proportional versus non-proportional relationships. Let's take a look at the equations first. So the general form of a proportional equation is y equals kx, where k is the constant of proportionality. So we want to look at equations that are in this form. A variable equals to some constant times the variable x. Okay? Or another variable. It could, they can change it up on you and use like formula letters, like distance and time. We want to make sure that when we're looking at this equation, we don't see any other number that's being added or subtracted. So here's an example of what it might look like. Maybe you have like a word problem. It's a, some type of rate. Something's increasing or decreasing at some rate, but it started at a specific value, okay? like maybe 5, or maybe it started at negative 20. Okay? So this is the type of equation you would see if it's not proportional, is that it has some type of, of constant times the variable plus or minus a number. Okay? So when we look here, which ones of this view do we already see is proportional? So here we have a proportional relationship because it's y equals kx. Okay, we have a variable equals a constant times another variable. So this is proportional. If I'm calling p proportional and not proportional np. We have a rate and an initial value. So this makes it not proportional because it started off with some initial value. Okay. Again, we've got some type of initial value happening here, so this one's not proportional. And the last one is that we have y equals 3 fourths x. So again, this is some constant times the variable x, so this is proportional. Okay, so we have a few of those that are proportional. Now looking at all the graphs that we've seen here so far, when do you know if you have a proportional graph? So if you were ever asked, why is this graph proportional? Two easy answers you can say is that it's a straight line, which means, by the way, that it's a constant rate. But it also has to go through the origin. Okay, this is the origin, O-R-I-G-I-N. Goes through the origin, which is at zero, zero. When you're looking at non-proportional graphs, they could either be non-straight line patterns, some some, something that's not straight, or it is a straight line, but it doesn't go through the origin. So for example, okay, for example, if we take a look at part A, part B, those points are all over the place. So this is definitely not proportional. If we were to draw a straight line through here, it's straight and it goes through the origin, so this is proportional. This is straight and it goes through the origin, this is proportional. This is some type of weird pattern, so this is not proportional. It doesn't go through the origin. And it, does this go through the origin? There it is, and it's a straight line, so this is proportional. So let me draw you an example of something that would be non-proportional. If it was a straight line like this, I can see the y-intercept is right up here. So this is an example of it not being proportional. Or if I went to this graph here, Okay, I can see that it went through the y-axis at negative 4. It has a y-intercept. It has some type of initial value. So when I say it doesn't have an initial value, that means it's starting at 0. Okay. So proportional relationships on a graph are straight lines and go through the origin. Straight line means it's growing at a constant rate. How about when it's in a table or sets of ordered pairs? What do we do in that case? So there's a couple things that you want to check if it's in a table. One of the easiest ways to check if it's proportional is by using the constant of proportionality, y divided by x, for all of the points. So if they're all the same, boom, automatically you know it's proportional. But if you're somebody who's doing the plus, plus, plus thing, like you're trying to observe the pattern of how it's increasing or decreasing, you must confirm that 0, 0 is in the table. Okay, that's very important that you must confirm that because again, if it's going plus 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 a number, it just means that it's a it's a straight line. That's what it means to be constant is that I'm increasing by or decreasing by a certain value. So that's why you have to confirm 
that it goes through the origin to make it proportional. If it's non-proportional, one of the most obvious cases is that you're going to see 0, comma some other number. Okay, So some initial value would be there. And the other thing is, is when you're checking your y divided by x relationship, you're going to see that it is not constant. Okay, so let's take a look at some values in the table. So right off the bat, and, and even if this was in a table, if I had this in an xy table, 0, 1.5, 1, 2.5, 4, 5.5, 8, 9.5. If you're taking a test and you are looking at that first point, boom, it is not proportional. That is not starting at 0, 0, so definitely not proportional. Okay, so right now what I would look for is see if there's any other tables that have 0, comma another number. Now, I don't see anything else starting at 2, negative 2. I don't see any more zeros, so we can't use that easy freebie anymore. A nice quick one. So I'm going to demonstrate what, what I meant by the plus, plus, plus type of thing. So observe how your x's are growing. Plus 2 to get 4. Plus 2 to get 6. Plus 2 to get 8. Plus 2 to get 10. So all of my x's are growing by 10. Uh, by 2, I'm sorry. So that means that I could go in the other direction. So if I'm increasing my values by 2, I'm going to decrease Subtract 2, right? 10 minus 2 is 8. 8 minus 2 is 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. So I've got x equal to 0, so let's take a look at your y values. So y values, I have to figure out how it's increasing. So you can subtract the 2. 27.5 minus 22, that's 5.5. 5. 22 minus 16.5, that's another 5.5. 16.5 minus 11, another 5.5. 11 minus 5.5 is 5.5. So again, if it's increasing this way by 5.5, we can subtract 5.5 to go that way. So again, 11 minus 5.5 is 5.5. 5.5 minus 5.5 gives us 0. So I've shown in this table, especially if this was a test, by showing all of these calculations, I showed that it will also yield 0, 0 if I continue the relationship. So this would be proportional. Now, if you tried that same approach with letter K here, especially if I start, I, I sometimes like to start at the end. My, my brain does subtraction. So 39 minus 23. 39 minus 23 is 16. 23 minus 11, that's 12. I can stop right now. I don't even have to do the top parts. But if you just did the first two top parts, 11 minus 7 is 4. 7 minus 4 is 3. So again, just, just seeing that this isn't the same, because they should be the same number every time, that would, you could have stopped there and you could have told me about that. You could have like talked about that. But now that you also see that the x's aren't growing at a constant rate, you can stop. But if you wanted to fill in the whole table, this is all plus 3 here, and this is plus 12, and that's plus 12. So if you wanted to fill in the table to show all of it, that's great. Okay. So this part right here is what's making it not proportional because it is not increasing at a constant rate. Okay. So I'm just going to skip all the way to the end just to practice what it looks like when you are calculating. Or you know what? How about I put this into a table? Let's practice putting this into a table and using this fact. 3, 36, 4, 48. Let's say you had this on a test and you needed to show if this is proportional or not proportional. So you would be taking uh, k is equal to y divided by x. This is one easy way that you can also do it. So if I make like another column, k is equal to y divided by x. 12 divided by 1 is 12. 24 divided by 2 is 12. 36 divided by 2 is 12. 48 divided by 2 is 12. So this is proportional.
proportional, not proportional, proportional, not proportional. All right, so for time, I'm going to press pause on that and just take a look at these word problems real quick so that you can see how easy is it to identify uh, something that's proportional. A cell phone company charges $9.99 per month for unlimited data. There is no initial value here, so this is proportional. A pool fills at a rate of 540 gallons per hour. This is proportional. There's no initial value. It's starting at zero. A Spotify premium membership pay, is paying $10 per month. Again, I'm starting at zero, so this is proportional. A personal pizza is $7 plus 50 cents per topping. So this is like if you were to make an equation, which by the way, all of these equations would have been, this one would have been y equals 9.99x. This one would have been y is equal to 540x, because you always have your rate, your rate times x. This would be y is equal to 10x. So this one, what's my rate? Something that's changing per month, per topping. With every topping, it's going to cost 50 cents for every topping. And where did I start, or how much did I start off with? Well, one pizza, if I had no toppings, costs $7. So you can see it has an initial value. It's starting somewhere. So this is not proportional. Last one is a kayak rental at Town Lake cost $15 per hour. So again, this is proportional, and if you needed to make an equation out of it, it would be y is equal to 15x.